Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark 2008. Let's go. When we last left off, we were, well, we'd left Sarah behind to fiddle with whatever the hell Sarah fiddles with and uh, create some sort of key or something. And we're going to continue off to find the key to some kind of castle. Hmm. Well, ah, and we have a jammed door because, of course, we have a jammed door. Okay, so we've got another message. Oh, message from Sarah this time. That's Crowley. We don't want Crowley. Theo's diary, room 943, six years before. Yeah, you can also see like the time spacing of these notes is completely out of order as well, which does make it a little bit confusing. Not really sure why we have to read the notes in a random order, but hey, I didn't make the game. Being involved in the museum's life has finally paid off. Last night, I found a hidden door deep inside room 943's foundations. I knew it. The first investors in this museum were the same investors as for Central Park. But the door remains tightly sealed for the moment. That's strange. It's the first time I haven't thought about Madeline too much. I think of a life to save instead. Edwards. Okay. Yeah, not sure if she comes up again, actually. Probably. You know, I, I didn't pay the most attention in the world to the game's story as I went along, because, you know, uh, it's, well, uh, shit. So, you know, ah, we actually have to keep the forklift here. So, yeah, I, to say it didn't keep my attention is an understatement. Anywho. Let's get out of here. Let's go leave our noble steed behind. Uh, knock knock, motherfucker. Anybody? No. Just, just a way up. Okay. Now this is one of the longest. Oh, this is the second longest chapter in the game, because when we return to the surface. There is so many roots of evil that we have to wander around and destroy one by one. But not this time. Not this time, baby. Nope. I freed you of that painful curse. So, ah. Oh. Oh, this looks fun. Oof. Alright, well. Yep. Yeah. Yep, this is the thing. Just speak one little phrase and I can pull you out of there. No, cut the dramatic bullshit, Crowley. What do you want? The stone card, me. Just tell me you'll give it to me. Or must I be content with watching you dissolve into that black film? You have ten seconds. You have ten Talk seconds to comply. Here, let me give you something to think about. <laughs> Yes, well, if you let me die, then you're going to lose the stone. This bit sucks, balls, by the way. It doesn't seem too hard to start with, but it gets a bit quicker. And as you can see, the light flickers. So if even a pixel of you touches this black ooze, you're dead, by the way. There's no, like, you know, do-over. Well, there is a do-over, obviously. You can always try again. But it's kind of a dick this bit luckily i don't think it lasts too long there we go are we having a nice walk in the park and so <laughs> obedient my dog could take lessons from you <laughs> son of a bitch I'll... fine you win lower the fucking rope already I'm tired of chasing you, Carnby. You should have been dead long ago. Sorry, punctuality is one of my strengths. Give it to me. Please. Not so fast. I want some answers first. Don't play games with me, boy. If the stone is cursed, why do you want it? What about the path of life? The stone deserves better than that ridiculous prophecy. Happy endings are for fools. To hell with mankind. I was born to carry that stone. The rest is no concern of yours. Ooh. Hello, big mama bitch is back. Now that is one hell of a spawn of Satan. Ah, 
Oof. Yep. That was never going to end well. But if you think we have to fight it, we don't. Getting knocked out of the air there has killed it. I think. Pretty sure. Uh, do you want to save your progress? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You can use blood as a decoy to it. Yeah, you can, but... Why would you? Like, what's the point? Anyway, let's climb up this face. You can see, um... Gas leak there, which is fun. Oh boy. And you can see petrol pouring out of the helicopter as well. Which is also fun. Apparently there's a lot of fuel in that helicopter. Like a lot of fuel. Still, let's start climbing. Hmm, not getting very far, are we? No matter. Hold on, Carnby. I'm sure this is almost over. Jeez, definitely feels like we're not getting anywhere, doesn't it? Bloody cars coming down and everything. What the hell is up there? Who's throwing all this fucking shit at us? Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. Right. Let's start climbing up once again. What's going to come at us next time? Maybe the helicopter itself. Oh, me and my big mouth. Jeez Louise, big papa cheese. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit awkward. Oh, good. Wonderful. We have fire and flames everywhere. Jesus. Dragon Force fan, maybe? Okay. Okay. Push, 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 push. There we go. I like the way we've got a little splatter of blood by that fire there. Very nice. Alright. <sighs> now, up we go. Like a good little combi now. Nice little convenient ledge there. No, hold on, you fucker! Hold the fuck on! Hey, Mr. Carby! Hey, go fuck yourself, dude. You just tried to, like, catch me and... I don't know. Do bad things with my spine. Mr. Can't be me, dick. Okay. Oh, we got another message as well. Perfect timing as well. What do you want, Sarah? Kind of in a bit of bother here. Theo's diary. Primal energy, six years before. I've opened the door. I'm amazed by their technology. They have learned to use some sort of primal energy to channel it and concentrate its flow. Now I know I feel it everywhere and mostly in this room. The new circular room seems to be an antechamber to something important, but a piece is still missing. Looks like a lock. Okay. Well, how could this possibly get worse? Oh yeah, we've got these little shits. Oh, that's fine. Oh, bullets. Yep, we'll take the bullets. Okay. Wait, we died. Okay, you kind of... Su that was supposed to happen, though. I'm confused. Right, okay. Okay, down we go. See? That's supposed to happen. So why did we die? Your guess is as good as mine, guys. Okay, right, we're gonna want the gun out here. Because these little fucking bastards come down a spit in our face as we... Yeah. Yeah. They will spit in our eye as we're trying to climb up. Which is not great. Uh oh. Ow! Ah, fucking lugged all over my face. Oh, God. Come on, there we go. Please do not spit your green shit all over my face. Really not a fan of that. I mean, that's some some sort of people like that, you know, and that's fine, but it's just not my thing. Okay. Oh, God, here we go. Ooh. Okay. 
Well, that was a strange bit of animation our boy Kambi just gave us there, that's for sure. And you'll notice the rope kind of bugs out all the time. <sighs> right, let's continue. Oh, I remember this bit. We don't have a lot of equipment to work with, that's for sure. But that's okay. Hello, not Sarah. Uh, we shall try and get in there, not Sarah. Go there, guy. Go there, chap. Well, okay. The guy that was with not Sarah just committed suicide and jumped to his death. No need to be that dramatic. I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Right, let's bring these guys down. This motherfucker's just backflipping all over the place. I'm wondering. Can we cause some cheese bullshit here? Is there any more humans? Okay. Right. Might possibly have three humans. Can I get all the humans to group up? That's the question. Uh, maybe? Because we've got lots of bullets. We just need to kind of drop them all at the same point. And then if we had something to explosively detonate on their asses, might be able to get that achievement. I say might. Oh god, there's one behind us too, I think. Ah, oh, fucking green shit. Yeah, there's one behind. Okay, there's a lot of humans here. Which is actually fine. Oh, God. Alright. I don't want to waste this opportunity here. Right, let's... Yeah, I can't see fucking... Fuck all. Hey, friend! Now, can we... Get enough of you fuckers to bunch up. How many of you's there? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Did that get me the achievement? Not quite. That's gonna be a dick of an achievement to get. Not gonna lie. Uh... Yeah, and we got one of those bone dudes there too now. I think that's because he didn't die. Right, one second guys. I am going to try and get this achievement. Right, okay. So, if this doesn't work, I don't have a clue. Have I got my gun out? God, it's so hard to actually see what you're doing. Right, so kill three humans at once. There we go. Look at that nuke. I mean, we've kind of nuked ourselves, but that's okay. So just shoot them until they all fall down, and then throw a big... We've still got loads of bullets left. Right, and then just throw a Molotov at the whole lot. Wow, everything's on fire here, and it's causing extreme frame rate problems, to say the least. Okay. All right, let's get some more fire on these. Whoa, okay, yeah, we're running at like zero frames a second. Oh my God, I think the 360 might be about to crash. Kinda hope not though. Oh, that is a lot of fire. Oh God, look at it all. I hope you guys can count the frames. Um. That was not a smart thing to do, was it? We're getting at least five frames a second now. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Console gaming, everybody. This is the pinnacle. Right, let's try and burn these guys up. Oh, hey, friend. Well, I got you in one of your fishes, at least. Jesus. That poor power PC is... 
fucking dying as we speak. Oh, God. Oh, all right. We was actually out of bullets there, but because of the frame rate, um, we can actually uh, tell. The handgun slide didn't actually lock back because of the frame rate. Man, this is a cinematic experience for you right here. I mean, I never thought I'd be grateful to see 30 frames a second in my life, but here we are. Man, you know you're playing some shit when you're getting performance like this. I appreciate... Oh my god, it's getting worse. How is it getting worse? We're clearing memory and resources by killing enemies. Yep. We actually are playing a slideshow here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Hopefully, if we get out of here... Ugh, come on. I swear I have not slowed the footage down. Oh. Oh, frame rate's increasing. Not by... Oh, God. Everything's on fire everywhere. Did that explosion somehow screw up? And it explode and burn every... Yeah, I think that actually burn every physics item on this level. Because everything is on fire and doing that weird spin. Which is cool, I guess. At least the game can't calculate this boss's AI. Well, I say boss. It's not really a boss. But that does mean that we also are struggling to aim at this guy. Oh, God. Oh, man. Damn. Behold the power of the 360. We should be able to knock this guy down with repeated bullets. This is worse than when you used to back along have slow-mo modes for games. This is... A cinematic experience if I've ever seen one. Well, let's shoot him in the dick in slow-mo. Oh, God. Things are gobbing at us now. We've got more effects on screen. Oh, my God. Don't die. Don't die. I don't know if I'm talking to us or the 360. Ugh. Okay, it looks like items are starting to burn out. Which is good. Oh my god, I can't even... can't even aim at this guy. Kind of reminds me of how I used to play sections of Half-Life. Back on my mum's old Cyrix 288. No, 233 system. God. Those Cyrex CPUs. I'm wondering if I set fire to this guy. Will that actually... Ease up some clock cycles. <laughs> Will we have some spare resources to actually render some more frames? I know it's a big ask right now. And he's just floating along. Yeah, we've broken the physics somehow. Hey, friend. Don't make me restart from a checkpoint. Even the cutscenes... Well, at least the cutscenes are rendered in engine. Okay. We're going to have to try. Like, what? How has that explosion broken everything? I mean, I'm kind of in. Whoa. Yeah, look at the physics. It's just flying all over the place. We blew them into next week so fucking hard. We've broken the universe. Even everything in here is on fire. And just kind of trying its best to float off. Still. <sighs> Bloody hell, look at the fucking state of it. That's a pretty pathetic bug to have in a game i'm not i'm not actually you know i can't deny how awful that is all right let's get bandaged hopefully that's gonna you know 
help the poor Xbox out because now it doesn't have to worry about the fact that we're injured or at least doesn't have to render and calculate another clock ticking down the sooner we get out of this area the better hopefully the game engine will refresh then or whatever the fuck it needs to do <sighs> okay have you ever seen anything like this pretty sure I haven't actually how bad or how much do we actually have in here four and eight right so let's combine these two to make a full bottle yeah you can see the physics like everything's just turning and twisting I'm not really sure what we did to trigger that bug I mean I know we made the explosion but I'm not really sure how it actually oh yeah look everything's kind of like floating out of the locker as well I'm kind of glad I got this on camera actually right let's try and move on out of this weird slow mo -y area Oh, Jesus. This is like pulling teeth. You alright, not Sarah? Nice to see you're still alive. Just come on in. I would just come on in if I could. Eh. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try and climb up to the roof at six frames a second. Oh my God. Ah! Oof. See, if I skip chapter or something, we're going to lose all of our equipment and possibly our gun. Oh, man. What a fucking ball lake this is. Right, let's grab the bullets. Oh. No, that's fine. That's meant to happen. That's okay. Are we all still enjoying the cinematic experience? Put my hand on the Xbox. It's actually got cold air coming out of it. It's probably because it's rendering so few frames. <laughs> We're just dancing. Look, Mom, dancing. I'm dancing. Oh, no. Now we've got rain effects. Oh, I think it's getting worse. Okay. Yep. Yep. We've got to climb into this thing's asshole. You think I'm joking? Oh god, I can't even see those enemies. Kind of moving one frame at a time. This is like a really bad emulator. There's nothing emulated here, kids. Uh, right. Okay. Doing this jump's going to be fun. Oh, hey, friend Arino. Oh my god, trying to aim. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. At least we can admire all the chunks that these enemies split into upon death. Right. Are we ready? Are we honestly ready for this? Oof. Oh, we made it. We actually fucking made it, boys. Right, let's go. Let's go. You climb very slowly. I'm hoping as soon as we get into here, because we're going to be technically in another area, things should hopefully reset. I say optimistically. I don't know for certain, but that's what we're going to go for here. Come on. Definitely the most broken, shitty piece of shit game that I've played just from like a technical standpoint. I mean, that's the thing about The Ring. When we played The Ring, okay, The Ring was a terrible, awful game. But technically, like, it worked. You can't really 
say that it didn't, you know? I mean, uh, uh, when this game is performing the best it can, it's a broken, sputtery mess. This is just the icing on that delicious blood-coated cake. Come on. Get your ass up there. One laboured step at a time. Yeah, that's the coolest air I've ever felt coming out of this 360. Bloody hell. And that's quite old thermal paste on that thing too. Right. Come on. Come on. Now we've climbed into this dead creature's asshole. There we go. I thought that might happen. As soon as the game refreshes, reloads a new scene. Literally dumped out everything that was in that ram. Oh, good. Good. Oh, it almost feels like I'm playing at 144 frames a second now. Can definitely tell you we're not. All right, so what have we got? Um, the afterlife. So many books, codes, and signs. So many hidden things. Am I wasting my time on a fool's dream? Their manuscripts talking about a door to the afterlife. It's surely symbolic. Uh, I hope so. If not, I'm not sure I'm prepared for this. All sources are merging into a sort of prophecy. Potentialities are fading away. Only one road uh, remains leading to a black hole. I've opened the door. I'm amazed by their technology. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've read that. I've managed to build the alchemist lens. It took me 50 hours of hard work and a help from a craftsman to get it right, but it seems perfect. With this lens and what I found in the pillar, I should finally make some progress on the path of light. Excuse me, if only Edward was here. Apparently the alchemists were behind the creation of Central Park back in 1858. It seems that they've been there since the beginning of the 16th century. By creating the park, they protected the land from any other development. Theo didn't know exactly what they were protecting, but I think you'll know it soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's get out of here. What equipment do we have? Oh my God, my God. When fucking, I don't know, 22 to 28 frames a second feels good. Ugh. Right, well, at least we got a ride. Are we going to get lucky? We're not going to get lucky. Why would we get lucky? We've got some batteries, I suppose, and some ammo. We don't need the ammo. Come on, scoot your ass over. Looks like we're going to have to hotwire this bass. There we go. Uh, that's the light. Yeah, lovely. Just what we wanted. That kind of sucky. Come on. There we go. Oh, God, that was a slog. Right, so where's this party wagon heading next? Right, look how many roots we'd have to burn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bearing in mind that there's multiple roots in each one. Yeah, glad we don't have to do that again. I mean, it certainly padded the game out. But it is irritating to know that I've, like, lost all of that, to be fair. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay, so now what we've got to do... Get up here. Start finding some symbols. Alright, Sarah, calm down. Christ. The symbols. Don't you feel your spectral vision has evolved enough? I guess you spent enough time finding those roots. Now, go to the old castle to test your new 
senses on the riddles. Yeah, um, right, so Roots of Evil. Theo's notes say that Lucifer must be using the ground of Central Park to lock the access to the key. You'll find some strange twisted roots scattered around the park. They are sucking the ground's energy and channeling it to an evil tree somewhere. These roots can be useful because you're somehow connected to Lucifer. If you can absorb their power by burning them, each one will improve your sensitivity to Lucifer's presence. Find them and destroy as much as you can. They will give you enough power to weaken the tree's protective shield. Yeah, so it kind of makes the game sound like, you know, this is optional. You know, probably a good idea to do this, but you don't have to. But no, you actually do have to do it. You cannot continue from this point unless you do that now one thing to note about the batteries as well look box of batteries there's actually no batteries left the box is empty but it still stays in your inventory no idea why they they did that oh for fuck's sake messages after messages what sarah give me a minute <sighs> I found a fragment of a poem concerning the prophecy. Men shall rest no more, for he is still there, among them, the betrayer, waiting inside a lying gem. He built it from anger and pieces felt from his throne. One medallion to be carried by one alone. From several documents, it seems clear that the stone is linked to Lucifer, the betrayer, and his fall from heaven. If that's the case, Edward is in danger. Are we finished? Well... Not yet. Not yet. So, this castle is a bit of a conundrum. I think there's like six symbols around here that we have to find. Uh, oh, shit. Right. Flyby. I was like wondering what the hell that was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Yep. And we don't have... Oh. Oh. Can that not follow you wherever it wants? I didn't realize that thing would be contained. Jesus! Okay, so it just waits for you. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit busy here for your stupid messages. I don't know how we get out of here, to be honest. I honestly don't know. I have done it. I think there are supposed to be things that we can hold on to. But as you can see, they, they blimp past so quickly that... Push! 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 Oh, right. Okay, I've never seen that before. Oh. Oh, no. There it is. Are oh, you cunt. You absolute cunt. So it can literally, like, disappear and come straight back up. Yeah. <sighs> Right, let's make sure we've got fire on our bullets. Yeah, so the trouble is, because... Yeah, piss off. You're trying to escape. And the game is sputtering along at like, you know, 10 frames a second whilst you're trying to escape. It's really hard to actually get those prompts. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So now, got to find these bloody... Ah, there's one. Right. Now, there's like six of these dotted around the castle in all different places. Really? And we're out of batteries. <sighs> there we go. Now, considering how much you actually need the torch, it is irritating at how limited the battery life is. But as I said, you know, what's the point in having all of these consumables right, and only being able to carry a limited amount of said consumables when wherever you need them, they're kind of all over the place, you know? Ah. <sighs> Why limit it when they're everywhere? Okay. So, next one. Come on. Come on. Get right in the correct 
the exact correct distance away. I'm not sure if we have to highlight them before we shine our torch on them. I don't know. Alright. Now, I know there is some more outside. There's one here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Give that a go. That looks about right. There we are. Yeah, I'll catch up with your messages in a minute. Oh, we're on like 35 minutes. But... Let's just try and unlock all of these. There's another one. And there's a couple inside. Oh. Yeah, really don't know. I, I think... Oh, Christ. Hello. Guys, you literally just get in the way. That's all you're doing. You're wasting my time and yours. Okay. Yeah, it feels like they react better when they're lit up. Oh, no. No, I don't think you do have to, actually. Right, well, I think that's all the ones that are outside. Now we just have to go inside. But, the, yeah, there is a devious little bastard of one inside. That I will go introduce you to. Actually, you forgot about those two enemies. Ah, there's more batteries there. You don't need them, I don't think. But eight there. Eight's the max you can hold in a box. Alright, let's drop those down. Let's make sure we've got, like, maximum amounts of empty bottles. No, we don't want maximum amounts of empty bottles. We want maximum amounts of bottles. Now, bottles are literally, like, everywhere here. And I don't know why. Because, from what I can remember, I've still got four in it. Oh, four's better than none, I suppose. Alright, we'll take it for now. Not sure. Oh, it's a light. Okay. What's that? We can't get in. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? I know. Let's throw bottles at it. Seems to be the cure for everything in this game. Like so. Ah, bollocks. Kind of didn't want... Oh, that one's full. Uh, yeah, we don't need that many batteries. Like, ten batteries is... Well, eight batteries is enough. Let's get rid of that. I don't know why this has popped up. Uh, spectral vision. Theo wrote, behind his eyelids, the carrier will not will find no rest nor sleep because wherever he goes Lucifer's scars will shine in the dark the power of your spectral vision will be improved by destroying Luc Lucifer's roots throughout the park to accomplish the rest of the old to accomplish a test at the old castle the path of light will require you to evolve to a higher level of vision it will also be necessary to clear the access to the key yeah so basically you have to go burn all the roots uh, yep, we read that one. There is a way to counter the beast, a mystic yet concrete way. The alchemist manuscripts speak of a path of light. It's symbolic test that will lead the carrier of the stone, the light carrier, to prove his value. This person alone can accomplish the prophecy and face the beast. He alone, one man for all men, stands in a burning light. I only know one man who has the strength to fulfill this task, and he is already carrying the stone, probably fighting it somewhere with all his soul. You should be able to feel the symbols now. Don't you feel your spectral vision has... Yeah. Well, have you spent enough... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we certainly did spend enough time fight finding these roots. Way too much time, if you ask me. Okay, so in this room, yeah, you guessed it, we have this bloody huge stuff everywhere. Now, that one there was actually, as you can see, hidden behind the painting. Um, let's 
try. There's so much bloom in these old games. But let's try anyway. And get that. There we go. Not quite there. Come on. A little bit further away, maybe? In your own time. Yeah, fine. No? Oh, shit. All well, the chairs have caught fire. No, they haven't. Right. We need the chairs. Come here. Please don't burn the chairs. In fact, none of the chairs have caught fire, I don't think. No, they haven't. Great. Cool. Because we really want those chairs. I can tell you that much. All right. Come on. Come on, you cheeky little monkey. I don't know. No, it's going out again, I think. No, there we go. Alright. Yeah, they're just really fiddly and broken to actually, you know, activate. And we're on like 41 minutes here anyway, guys. So I'm going to cut this video off. When we come back, we're going to open the last icon or the last symbol to the castle and get the fuck out of here. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.